Okay. Well, this is ominous. I was about to call it on this game because, like, I, I wasn't feeling like I was being drawn in. But just this view right here is certainly intriguing me just that little bit. You know what? We'll progress slightly further and we'll see if this is where it gets good. If not, then what I'm going to do is ask people in the comments on when, who's watching this on YouTube, is it worth finishing? But I guess we'll see if it suddenly gets amazing. Well, I've got an axe. He found a camping axe. And there's some strange vegetation filling most of the hallways. As amazing as it is deadly, there is a hidden world right beneath the Uplat base. And even though I was prepared to find such a place, it was way different than I was imagining alone. We tried to cut our way through, but the plant reacted with a highly poisonous gas, seemingly coming from its glowing buds. I issued a warning to stop anyone going near any of the plants they came across in any of those caverns. I also noticed a strange phenomenon after I spent some time examining a sample from the plant. It occurred to me that individual vines grow and shrink in length on demand. It also seems as though it can move, even though there are no air currents. And this movement seems too regular to be caused by natural effects. This may sound strange, but I have the notion that it is conscious, at least on some level. So there are living plants... Hey! Anyone here? Anyone here? Hello? Dr. James? Dr. Dr. Jones? Morgan? Anybody? Dr. Jones? Calling Dr. Jones? Jesus. Where are they, for God's sake? So I guess this is a structure that we found. Because there's no fucking way we built this shit. What's with the weird beam? Is it a, a puzzle? A crew? Oh, I can't jump into the hall. It's shining on something in particular. Ah, I'm blind. <laughs> All right, so there's a way through These here. These plants are blocking the way. The way ahead is blocked by this curious vegetation. Part of the strange flora is blocking the way here. These ivy. Oh, I won't see how many lines you'd have. Right, can I get out my axe? Plants release a poisonous gas when cut. I don't know. Just poisonous gas when cut. You could have at least let me try. Oh, that's where I came from. So, where the fuck do I go? Is there a way I miss? That's blocked off. These plants release a poisonous gas when they're cut. Yeah. Maybe I have to shine the light onto the plants and they move out of the way of their own accord. Um, there's nothing of value up this way. Maybe there's like a control panel somewhere for this thing in the middle. It's like one of these sides and I've just not seen it yet. Oh. There appears to be running water as well. Aha! That was exactly right. Something's missing here. Of course it fucking is. What's missing? It's a lot of missing levers, isn't there? It's just gonna be lying on the floor somewhere. Maybe I can put the axe in. Although I feel like it would have said. It would have like just done it. There's not many places where I've had to actively use something. I need something that can fit. Yeah, you do. Now I'm just wandering aimlessly again. Uh, have I got anything I can use on like the upper levels? Like I got, I picked up the axe. Was there somewhere upstairs that they needed an axe? Like, can I cut down a door or open something up? I'm trying to remember if there was a place that was barricaded with wood. Okay, so this is 
where the tree was. Maybe I can cut out the tree. You know what? I'm going to see what's up. Because I don't know if the tower is a place I've not been yet. So let's go up and just see. Okay, definitely haven't been here. Uh, right, well, I mean, this probably goes in that other thing down there. I'm going to hallucinate again. The closer I walk, the more it appears, right? Hey, this is amazing. Most of the ground level structures have been crumbled and rounded from untold eons of savage storms, and thus weathered into shapeless ruins. However, both the ground level and the cavern systems below are clearly displayed in these bas reliefs. The most striking features depicted in this grand panorama, I believe, are the tall, occasional towering spires, which somehow resemble a lighthouse. They all seem like focusing a light beam towards a colossal structure in the center. Hmm. Could there be some sort of religious meaning behind this? Or simply something that has a more practical use? I'm not sure. Neither am I, glistening ghost man. Neither am I. Like how he appeared in this like buzz of effects and then just blinked out of existence. Ah, I'm blind. Um oh. so this is the strong light that can be seen from ground level. I mean, I didn't see a light, but okay. So, like, weird lighthouse structures. There's nothing I can interact with on this, is there? No. Right, well, I've got this weird handle thing. Let's go down and see if I can fiddle with the light below. Right, let's stick this thing in. Shove it in the hole. Give it a crank. Right, so I think I've got to point it towards them. So one more crank to the left should do it. There we go. So the plants have receded in the light. Okay. Right. This is going to be the last thing I'm going to do. Unless it suddenly gets awesome. I'm going to walk down this corridor. We're going to see what happens. And maybe... It'll be like, boom, game started, amazing stuff. All of this was just a slow prologue. Uh, I'm feeling that it's not. And it might be one of those games where I don't finish because I'm not. it's not drawing me in as much as I thought it would. And it's not the kind of thing that I was, I was wanting right now. I wanted a scary game. I wanted a horror game. It said it was horror, but maybe Lovecraftian horror isn't horror in the sense of, like, jump scares and tension and building tension and maybe Lovecrafting horror is like its own genre right let's see oh what weirdly shaped skulls we're definitely getting into the bowels of whatever this place is now surely something big's about to happen something big and dramatic okay we're at the bottom come on Cthulhu something that's like a headless statue I'll give it to the game designers, like, the world design is very good. Like, this sort of wall texture that you can't quite tell if it's, like, organic or if it's metallic. And... Yeah, like, weird bird head statue. All of these things that, like, are misshapen, but in a way where they could be something real. 
like you're seeing things. I think this looks like there's, there's some little lizards on top. Like when I looked at this, I was like, is it a cow's head? Okay, there's a pathway up to that there. And then there's also a pathway down here. Oh. And we're going to have another vision. What am I seeing? What was that I've just seen? So no, I think I was looking the wrong direction. I didn't see anything. I'm gonna sit on his lap. It's so cozy and safe here on the god's lap. I assume it's some kind of god. Okay. Here it is. My shit's about to go down. You know what, YOLO, let's just leg it. This stonework seems weak. Axe! Yes! I've got no chill. Come on, let's just speed up. Maybe it's slow paced because I'm not moving fast enough. Ooh, let me in. Let me in! I want to see the altar. You found a secret. Oh, game has secrets as well. <gasps> well, it's mine now. Okay, what's up here? Ah, ah! No one's gonna be able to see what's going on. Ah! Oh, you're ugly. Uh, ooh, blue. What's going on over here? Ah! Something just moved. Uh, where's the walkway? Follow the walkway. It'll lead somewhere. No, you've fallen off it, you bell end. Where's it going to lead? Absolutely nowhere. That's game. Oh, there's a light on this one flower. Maybe it's an important flower. Oh, I found a thing. Sure, I'll, I'll take five random stone glyphs. Why not? See, running through this, this gets you a, uh, this gets you what you need. None of this slow nonsense. Ooh, a big scary cavern. What could be in here? Ooh, another axe. Why would I need a second axe? Oh, it's in case you missed the first axe, I guess. A person, tell me your secrets, man. Hmm. If I am not mistaken, this relief depicts that the overgrown floor we came across at the various points in the cavern uh, can be cleared away with an iridescent device, a tool or a talisman. Curiously, we still haven't been able to find the roots of those plants. They seem to seep out of these caverns by passing through crevices which look as if intentionally made for them. Maybe they're coming from another dimension. <gasps> what other secrets might these silent halls conceal from us? I don't know, Glitchy Man. And he's gone. Cool. Half of the law, mate. I go in the water. No. There's some over here I can look at, wasn't there? I can I'll get over to it. No, I must need to go around. Sprint! Ah, oh, yeah. Running around at the speed of sound. I appreciate the fast sprint. Thanks, game. I love it. Can I get across here? Yes. Low tide, come on. What's the side here? A tree. Ooh, a sarcophagus. Just take the lid off then, fuck it. Ooh, another dead person. Oh, I'll have this. For that, let's go for a big earring. Am I going to hallucinate again? A thing! A zombie! Yes! Oh no. Oh, come on, why isn't it real? Does he move position? Has he not got a note on him? It's like, who could this be? Ooh. 
something happened. If we run faster, I'm going to find all of the bodies. No. So I just happened to pick the one cool... Oh, I've got a light, I forgot. So I just happened to pick the one cool sarcophagus. Oh, there's got to be something cool in one of these. A secret. 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 Running around. Oh, go up here as well. Oh. I, I gotta put the things in. Set of symbols. We've no, seen I've got strangely them. carved niches all around here. Matches with what is written in the oldest parchment. I believe uncertainly that they represent a destination towards somewhere significant. Cool. Let me do it. I copied down the glyphs. Why are they so stretched? Why would I draw them like this? That's not what they look like, is it? They're circular! Game makers, fix your game! I, I joke, I joke. Okay, come on, secret. If none of these have anything in, it's a bit weird that they're all openable but only the one in the middle has anything relevant in it. Yes, a thing! I knew it. That's be the last one though, aren't it? Magic disc, magic disc. An ornamental metallic object with the elder sign. Sign used for protection. Awful entities. Sick. Sick. Right now, where am I going? Speed! I. Speed. Magic doorway. Here we are. Oh, it's like a big boob. Oh. There's going to be buttons everywhere and I've got to press them in a certain order. Insert. Here we are. Here's the puzzle. Right, can I open my journal while I'm on this screen? No. That would have been nice. Drawings. Here we go. So this is where they're going to be, right? So we got, uh, let's try to remember these in a, in a way. So bottom right, I, we've got two full dots and empty dots. Um, squiggle line and sun. Right, how good's my memory? All right, so full dots, empty dots, sun, uh, whatever that is, um, and you. That's right, isn't it? Did something happen? Was it right? Did I win? Did I win? I don't know if I won. Well, that won't move anymore. I am a genius. I am a genius. Do, do, do. I mean, it wasn't the hardest puzzle in the world, was it? Cool. Still speedrunning. Where's this go? Speedrun! Oh, shit. Oh, that's me. <laughs> or is it me? Is it me in another dimension? Oh, that's cool. Look, I've got a reflection. Even though it's very clearly just a character model that's been made to do exactly what I'm doing because I'd actually have no feet. For a moment, I thought my reflection in the mirror was about to talk to me. <laughs> I like how nothing's turning on except me. I'd go down instead of up. No. For a second. I thought my reflection was going to talk to me. Yeah. I've come a long way from the Antarctic base I was enjoying. Frank! Can you hear me? Yes, it is I, Frank. Oh, thank God. Hello there. <laughs> I can hear you. Finally. 
effect of the mixture starts to wear off. Frank, heed me carefully. Time is running out, so I must be brief. Where exactly are you? Dr. Faust, is that you? I'm inside the caves below the base. Where are you? Listen, I cannot talk much. I know that you are having trouble remembering, but you must keep going. Use one of the submarines and follow the light. Do you hear me? Come on, please. Where are you? Damn it! The connection is lost. He said I have to keep going. Why? Where are they? Am I gonna keep going? Right, yeah, no. I, I'm gonna call it for this game for now. Because not a huge amount's happening. A lot of it's reading. And like reading notes and things like that. Maybe I'll finish it my own time and see if it improves and record that, but... No, I, I tried it. Uh, it sounded like it was going to be good. The visuals are great. Like, it's really well made. It looks really pretty. I'm just not sure if it's my kind of game. I, I, I'm, I'm curious. I might read some reviews and maybe watch other people playing it and just see if, um, if it's going to get more interesting because I'm quite willing to play the whole thing if it's going to pick up. Like, but for me, it's just not working too well. And maybe it's maybe I'd enjoy it better if the if I was more into the actual lore side of the Lovecraft stuff. I just kind of assumed that I wouldn't need to know a lot of that stuff. But I feel like at the moment, it's like, oh, you'd be benefited if you knew exactly what you were talking about or looking for. Um, and it looks like this is a big moment to carry on from if I did carry on. Yeah. So if you're watching this on YouTube, let me know in the comments: is it worth finishing? Is it worth me getting to the end? Is it one of those ones where it's like the 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 adventure all the way through is so worth it that it's worth pushing further beyond? Further beyond! But for me, it's just not it's not feeling quite like it's not really the experience I was looking for tonight, I think is the best way to describe it. I was looking mainly for a I was looking for a horror game, like an actual scary horror game. To get the blood running, to get the tension going. Like I said, maybe Lovecraftian horror is not what I thought, where it's like still horror of a Lovecraftian theme. Lovecraftian horror is its own set genre. Oh, I mean, it feels a shame. Honestly, it feels like a shame to just not give it any more time because it doesn't feel like a bad game. I'm just not really enjoying it. Yeah, I think the important distinction to make is that I'm not saying the game's bad. I'm saying that I'm not enjoying it. That's what I'm feeling at the moment. And I don't know whether I'm not enjoying it because I'm, I'm, I was looking for something else and I thought it was going to be something else, or whether I'm not enjoying it because this kind of game is just not... Um, it's not working for streaming right now. Yeah, as chat's saying, it looks like an atmospheric game that you could play on your own, read all the lore, get very invested. Like, I guess maybe if I was a better streamer or a better, like, let's player, I guess, people find ways to make that work and I I, there's, I imagine in some situations the audience are quite happy to listen to those conversations and to hear you read them out and to go through the story um, in my mind though like, I think I wouldn't want to watch somebody if the story was extremely um, if the story was extremely like uh, dialogue heavy I, I personally I'd find that a little dull and it's like they're the kind of games I prefer to play alone I think maybe that that's sort of influencing me not enjoying a game when I think the audience aren't, even if they are, even if the audience are quite happy to watch something where I'm just rambling, where uh, the story's just got a lot of rambling in it, a lot of dialogue and a lot of letters and a lot of talking. The same thing happened I think when I was playing uh, Amnesia was there was a lot of dialogue and like a lot of letters and things and a lot of the time I skipped over them. Or I did them as a silly voice, because a silly voice is a good way to add a bit of, um, make the streams a little bit more dynamic as well.